also as a livestock producer and soybean and corn producer, I have realized for years the importance of the nutrient density in the soybean meal. What is important is not just the crude protein amount, because if that protein is not available to that livestock that consumes it, it really doesn't mean anything. Those essential amino acids help that protein to be available to the livestock that consumes the meal. As farmers, I think we need to know what we grow to realize that the soybeans that we produce are not just those, those seeds in the pod. We have to realize what the value is to our end user. With the end user of soybeans being mostly livestock, we better make sure that the soybeans that we grow are not only palatable, but they include the nutrients that end user needs for a healthy diet. The genetics of the animals have changed just as much as the genetics of the plants that we grow have changed in the last 20 or 30 years. And as a producer of bulk livestock and feed grains, I can see that difference. And the requirements are very different. The animals today grow a lot faster than the animals that we raised 30 years ago. So that nutrient density has to be very different. And those nutrient requirements are very different for the livestock today. Farmer directors work very closely with the, the seed companies and the geneticists to share what the end user and consumers really want and what they need. So we work very closely with those geneticists to develop hybrids that produce soybeans that meet those needs of the end user. Mm -hmm.